This is part five of chapter number 14, which is firms in competitive market. Or last part, we talked about um, what is the supply curve for a perfectly competitive firm. And we saw that the short run supply curve, it looks differently than the long run supply curve. Short run, mein kya hota hai? Um, so the short run supply curve is a portion of its MC curve that lies above the minimum of average variable cost. Whereas the long run supply curve, jo hai, uh, it's that portion of the MC curve which lies above the minimum point of the average total cost curve. The short run supply curve is that portion of the MC curve that lies above the minimum of average variable cost, whereas the long run supply curve is that portion of the MC curve that lies above the minimum of average total cost. Why um, is this? I um, you know, explained to you in detail in the last part. So, um, uh, in the next slide, you can show, mother. You can actually see um, a competitive firm earning a positive economic profit. So, yaad rakhe ki whenever the market price is above the minimum of average total cost, the firm must be earning a positive economic profit, which is equal to is this rectangular region here. So, pehla step hamesha ye hota hai ki jo aapko market price given ho, jaha um, uh, MR cuts the MC curve that gives you the profit maximizing output level or is output level pay you can simply work out the average total cost so um, the profit is simply uh, the difference between the two or in other words profit is equal to is the total revenue which is this entire box times the total cost which is equal to is this lower box so to area bacha wo ye wala hai shaded area and this is the profit that the firm is going to earn Second scenario, you see that the firm is losing loss. You can see that the price in this case is lower than the minimum of average total cost. And the loss in this case is equal to this rectangular region. Profit maximizing output level in this case is Q star. Or you can also say that when the other firm operates, it should operate at Q level, which we call cost minimizing quantity. But if it's producing this much, uh, its average total cost um, can be traced from the average total cost curve, uh, which is this. So obviously, total cost is greater than the total revenue in this case. So here, the firm is earning a loss, which is equal to is this red rectangular region. Okay. Um, so ye to humne sari baate uh, pichle uh, lecture mein bhi kar li thi, aur main ye bata do aapko ye sab cheeze aapke handouts mein bhi hai. And I'm just um, switching between powerpoint slides and handouts uh, because jo part mujhe jahan better lagta hai visibility wise because in the handouts the diagrams have been laid out much um, nicer so that is why i am making use of the powerpoint slides in this particular uh, chapter a lot but anyways ye cheeze aapke handouts mein bhi maujood hain acha ab the last thing i would like to skip a few things and just explain you uh, the main points here This is what I want to explain you, and this is um, the final part of this particular chapter. Um, you can actually see what is happening in the marketplace, and you can see what is happening at the firm level. So, we have said that perfectly competitive firm is a price taker. So, price set is set in the marketplace. So, in the market, you can see that this is the market demand curve, this is the market supply curve. Initial equilibrium occurs at point A. Uh, the price is P1 here. Each firm is a price taker. So let's suppose that um, the park is that the firm ka jo average total cost is position. Um, yani, matab, uh, in other words, you can see that the park is that um, price is equal to is the minimum of average total cost of our firm. The MC passes through this point as well. Um, फिलहाल जो है ना अभी लॉन्ग रन सप्लाई कर्व जो लिखा हुआ है ना इसको आप इग्नोर करें इस लाइन को कि मैं नहीं समझाऊं इस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर में इग्नोर दैट जस्ट कंसंट्रेट ऑन द मेन पार्ट दिस इज हैपनिंग इन द मार्केट प्लेस मार्केट में प्राइस डिटरमिन कर दी गई P1 ईच फर्म टेक्स दैट प्राइस इज गिवन सो गिवन द सिनेरियो आप देख सकते हैं कि प्रॉफिट मैक्सिमाइजिंग आउटपुट लेवल अकर्स वेयर द एमआर कट्स द एमसी which is which is at this point so you can see that the profit maximizing output level 
is going to be Q star in this case. Okay, this is going to be the profit maximizing output level, and which is Q star. Or you can see if the firm is producing at Q star units of output, it is earning zero economic profits. This is uh, similar to case two that we studied um, in in one of the handouts that I gave you in the last class. Ach, ye initial situation hai. Ab, let's suppose what happens in this market is that um, We have to do this manually. Okay, this is our initial situation. Now I am saying that let's suppose something like this that that results in increase in the demand for this product. Maybe the population increases. So this is what is going to happen as a result. So demand ke increase hone se, uh, let's suppose population increases. Just keep it as the demand for the product increases. The entire demand curve is going to shift. Outwards, and as a result, the equilibrium moves from P1 to P2. So, you can see that each firm is a price taker. Every firm has a MC or uh, average cost curve. It's just that, um, that the market price has actually increased. So, as a result, you can see that. Firm which was earning zero economic profit. Okay, remember, initial price was P1. P1, we saw that at P1, this is equal to is the minimum of average total cost. So the firm was making zero economic profit. But because of increase in demand, the market price increases to P2. And as a result, the profit maximizing output level, it is going to be now this point. So um, you can read from the graph that this is going to be the new profit maximizing output level. And uh, at this point, uh, the total revenue of the firm is going to be P2 times this Q star. And the total cost is going to be the average total cost times Q star. So you do shaded area, that is the profit that the firm is going to earn in the short run. This is the short run response of a perfectly competitive firm. Prices bhadi, just keep a firm, which initially zero economic profit kamara thi, ab it has started to make positive economic profit. Now, my question is that are these profits sustainable in the long run or not? Ye profits ka barkara rehenge in the long run ya nahi? And the answer is no. Because if you remember, one of the properties of perfectly competitive market was there is free entry and exit. Agar this market may existing firms are making positive economic profits. This will give an incentive for new firms to enter. Okay, if existing firms are making a profit, so the outsiders are who they want to see that this business is very profitable. So they would also like to enter into this market. So when new firms enter, what will happen to the supply curve? Okay, supply the number of producers is going to increase. So let's suppose the supply curve shifts to S2 pair. Okay, so supply curve shifts to S2. As a result, you can see that the market price is now raised to this level where the new demand curve cuts the new supply curve. So this is actually the new price level. Or if price ko agar me piche extend karo to the firm, you can see ke kya hoga. Okay, so this is the new price level. I'll call this price level as okay, I'll, I'll call this price level as P3. Okay. So ab aap batayin ke what is happening to this firm? Up the market level pe to dekhiya ke prices thodi si kam hui. So as a result, the new profit maximizing output level occurs where the new MR cuts the MC. So as a result, the profit maximizing output level falls. Okay. So if I can just show you here, the profit maximizing output level is going to fall. And if I ask him to identify the new profit, 
the new profit to henna it will actually be reduced to this box here theek hai agar dekho ki this is your total revenue here and total cost is going to be here somewhere theek hai aapke dekhne ki if you're producing at this much level so your total uh, you know cost ye magar graph se read karu it's somewhere over here so ye jo aapko shaded area nazar aa raha hai na aap dekh sakte hain ki the firm's profits are being undercut theek hai ye jo initial jo blue area hai usse to kam ho rahe hai na profit lekin still the firm is making positive economic profit so sawal ye hota hai ki dekhiye ye jab nayi firms enter hongi uh, what they'll do is they are going to undercut the existing firm's profit aur phir sawal ye uthta hai ki kab tak nayi firms enter hongi so the answer to that question is the firms will continue to enter until all these existing profits are driven to zero okay so uh, this has been shown in the next slide ki dekhiye nayi firms us waqt tak enter honge jab tak existing firms ka profit dobara zero na ho jaye yani jo supply curve hai na it's going to shift till s2 here ab dekhiye at s2 the new equilibrium occurs at point c the prices again are again back at p1 and now each firm is again earning zero economic profit dekhiye ye equilibrium hai लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम है ये क्यों मैं इसको लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम कह रही हूँ बिकॉज इन द लॉन्ग रन देर इज नो इंसेंटिव फॉर न्यू फर्म टू एंटर और एग्जिट आप अगर ये पिछले सिनारियों से कंपेयर करें वेन एवर द मार्केट प्राइस वॉज अब द मिनिमम ऑफ एवरेज टोटल कास्ट देर वॉज एन इंसेंटिव फॉर न्यू फर्म टू एंटर नई फर्म्स उस वक्त तक एंटर करेंगे जब तक प्रॉफिट जीरो ना हो जाए सो दिस इज कॉल द न्यू दिस इज कॉल द लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम इन अफेक्टली कंपेरेटिव मार्केट so remember firm a perfectly competitive firm in the short run it can earn profit in the short run it can even earn a loss lekin long run mein it will always be earning zero economic profit kyunki agar existing firm positive economic profit kama rahi hai jo humne dekha agar um, market price increases from a to b the firm start to make positive economic profit wo sustainable nahi hai wo point of stable matlab that's not a point of um, stability because the positive economic profits will signal new firms to enter the nay firms of enter hoti hai supply curve is going to shift rightward so as a result the market price falls down tab tak fall karegi jab tak market price dobara p1 pe na aa jaye agar ek dusre ko dekha de ki zarurat se zyada firms enter ho jaye let's suppose supply curve increases to this new level which is s2 here so Okay, so we will call this S3. So just note, new equilibrium kaha banta hai. So the new equilibrium occurs at this point where S3 cuts D2. Okay, this is the new equilibrium, and you can see that as a result, the market price it falls below the minimum of the average total cost. So you can see that now each firm will start to make negative economic profits. So some of the weaker firms are going to exit the market. तो एज अ रिजल्ट जब फर्म्स एग्जिट करेंगे ना तो सप्लाई कब दोबारा ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट होगा और ये प्रोसेस तब तक चलेगा अंटिल प्राइसेस आर अगेन बैक टू पी वन सो सो एज अ कंक्लूजन आई वुड से दैट मैं ये दोबारा एक दफा सिनारियो एक्सप्लेन कर देती हूँ देखो स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट हमारा ये था ये तीन पैनल ऑफ डायग्राम है जो मैं आपको शो कर रही हूँ स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ये था पॉइंट ए को हमने एट पॉइंट ए ईच फर्म इज मेकिंग जीरो इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट ठीक है वन द प्राइस इज पी वन ईच फर्म इज मेकिंग जीरो इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट दिस इज ये सिचुएशन जो है ना दिस इज कॉल्ड द लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन इसको मैं लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम इसलिए कह रही हूँ बिकॉज है देर इज नो इंसेंटिव फॉर न्यू फर्म टू एंटर देर इज नो इंसेंटिव फॉर एग्जिस्टिंग फर्म टू एक्सिट फ्रॉम द मार्केट लेकिन अगर ये मार्केट में थोड़ी सी जो है ना चेंज आए इन द सेंस के लेट सपोज demand curve increases as a result equilibrium increases to a to b each firm starts to make positive economic profit which is going to result in new firms to enter just give us a supply curve right towards shift hoga tab tak nayi firms enter hongi jab tak existing firms ka profit zero na ho jaye and in case ek dusre ko dekha de ki zarurat se zyada firms enter ho jaye now each firm will start to make a loss 
So as a result, a weaker firm side, they will exit again, supply curve is going to move back. And at the end, again, each the price is back at the minimum of average total cost and each firm is now earning zero economic profit. Okay, so conclusion is short term reform profit be kama sakti, loss be kama sakti, likin in the long run uh, equilibrium a firm will always be earning zero economic profit. Positive profits be sustainable link hai, because many firms go under any kind of incentive hota hai. Negative profits be sustainable link hai, because that is going to result in some weaker firms to exit. So in the end, in the long run, prices will hamesha gravitate towards the minimum of average total cost, which is equal to is P1 in this case, right? So, if I come to your handouts, I will explain this thing here. I will skip this for a little bit, but I have basic idea I have provided you. And with this, we are going to end with this particular chapter.